putting me on the spot to make one up. Okay, so everyone go ahead and take a sheet of paper out. Let's try these. 6x square roots of 25 plus 4 square root of uh, 28 plus 3x square root of 49 plus... square root of 175. Yeah, I'm trying to move it to get it. Is that better? 6x square root of 25 plus 4 square roots of 28 plus 3 square roots of 49, plus the square root of 175. Can you see it there? Yeah, that's square root of 49. What? It's 3x squared. Oh, yeah. Did I say something different? You said 3 and 3. 5. So this is 5, right? So 6x times 5 is how much? 30x. 30x. Um, 28 breaks down into what times what? And then 4 breaks down into 2 times 2, bring down my 7. So I have a pair of 2s that will come out. So what will that give me on the outside? 8 square roots of? Uh, 49. What's the square root of 49? 7 times 3x is? 175 breaks down into? 25 breaks down into? And then bring down that 7. I have a pair of fives that comes out. To multiply to that 1, right? So that's 5 square roots of 7, correct? Now combine my like terms. So this combines with this to give me how much? Perfect. And then this combines with this to give me... Did that help with an addition 1? Okay. Another problem that I can do? It could be from the homework assignments. It could be one that you just make up. It could be, yeah. Yeah, so since this reduces, instead of rationalizing the denominator right away, I'm going to reduce it because it makes it easier. What is 40 divided by 5? So that becomes this, just square, 21 square roots of 8. Okay. And then I'm going to break down 8 into 2 times 2 times 2. I have a pair of twos, so what comes out? Two, and it's going to multiply to that 21, so that would be 42, then square roots of two. Okay. Everyone go ahead and take out your Chromebook, please, and go to an assignment that you struggled with in this and find a problem in there that maybe I can go over. So take a minute to look through those. Key number three, it does not matter the order in which you do that. So either 18 divided by three or rationalize in the denominator. I prefer just to reduce if I can reduce first. So what is 18 divided by 3? So 6 comes on top. I have it over square root of 2. Now I can't have a square root on the bottom, so I'm going to rationalize that denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 2 on bottom and top. What do I have then on the top? 6 square roots of 2. And then 2 times 2 is 4, so I'm doing square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? 2. Now, you also, even if you reduce at the beginning, you have to see if you can reduce at the end. Can I reduce 6 divided by 2? What is that? So I get 3 square roots of 2. So that would go in a blank and that would go in a blank. Nick, did you have a question? Yeah. Okay. It was uh, like 2 and then square root of the line, 72 over to the 7th. To the 7th, that? Okay. So... Let's break down 72. What does that break down into, guys? 9 breaks down into. And then 8 breaks down into that 2 times 2 times 2. And then I have uh, 7 A's, right? So I have 1, 2, 3 pairs of A's. I have a pair of 2's and a pair of 3's, right? So out is going to come. So I already have a 2 out there, so I'm going to leave that 2 out there. I'm going to take out a 3 from this pair. 
I'm going to take out a 2 from this pair. And then I have one, two, three A's that I'm going to take out. Does that make sense so far? In the radical, I have left this A and this 2. So that would be 2 times A. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply that. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So that would give me 12A to the third square roots of 2A. Are you going to ever have more than one variable left into a radical? No, because if I had two, if I had like a squared or a to the third, then there's another pair that I could take out. All right, another question that I can go over. Yes? Yep. So again, um, you can rationalize the denominator. Um, or what I find easier again is to reduce. 5 over 10 reduces to what? 1 over 2, right? Does 48 divide by 3? Yes, and since they're both in radical. So remember, you can multiply outside and outside, inside and inside, same thing with division. Outside and outside divide by, and then inside and inside. And when I'm talking about inside, I mean under the radical. What is 48 divided by 3? 16. So we have square root of 16 here. If I had three a's on top and one a on bottom, divide by, what am I left with? Yep, so a squared. I had a b on top and b on bottom. Don't those cancel? Okay. So now this is what I'm left with. Well, what is the square root of 16? So I'm going to do 1 times 4. I have a squared, so what happens to that? This a comes out, right? Square root of a squared is a. Is there anything left in the radical on top now? No. What's left on bottom? Two. What is 1 times 4? So really, I have 4a over 2, but what can I do? Yep, what's 4 divided by 2? Two? 2a. Two yes, sir. Square root of 3 times 5 to the square root of 6, like that? Okay, so outside times outside. What's my number outside this radical? 1. So what's 1 times 5? What's 3 times 6? 18. At that point, start reducing it. <clears throat> Break this down. 18 breaks down in 2. 6 and 3, I'm sorry, 9 and 2 is what I was starting to write. My fault. But yes, it will go down the same. I have a pair of, so 3 comes out to multiply to that 5. What's 3 times 5? The square roots of? Mm -hmm. oh. Right? I have a pair of 2s. Bring the 2 out. What's half of 2? So I have 1 square root of? Five. This guy over here is the same thing as doing square root of 1 over the square root of 5. So the square root of 1 fifth means that, right? I like to rewrite it because I'm going to rationalize the denominator and that makes it easier for me to see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 5 on bottom and top. What do I get on bottom? 5. So this is minus. Bottom is 5. And then what do I get on top? Square root of 5, right? Okay. Another way to write what I just wrote here. Sorry, you can't see it. Does anybody know another way to write this where it was all on one line versus two lines? There you go. Thank you. So that really means 1 square root of 5 minus 1 fifth square root of 5. Do they have the same radical number now? Yes. So I can actually subtract these. What's 1 minus 1 fifth? So I have a whole pizza, but I take away a fifth of it. What am I left with? I'm left with four fifths square roots of five. That one's a little tricky, huh? Did that help? Other questions? Yep. What's five times five, or five times three? 
square or x times x? And what's the square root of x squared? Yes. Other questions? Kind of need to get started on the quiz. Are we are we better prepared now? Okay. Take put this paper away. Get out a blank sheet of paper. Get out a pencil and get out a calculator, please. Huh? Oh no, no, no calculator. <laughs> Sorry, I got your hopes up for two seconds, didn't I? Um, you've taken two of my pencils. I think I've seen it more. No, two. <laughs> the first day you're in here, and then I think Friday or Monday. Um.